My name is Pamela Mordecai, and I'm going to be talking to you about poem number 96 in this book, The Book of Joseph, which is published by Mowensi House in 2022, and which is the first book in my New Testament trilogy. The Book of Mary comes next, and the last book is The Man. It's a report of Jesus' crucifixion, and all three books are entirely in Jamaica and Patwa. The poems in the Book of Joseph don't have titles. Instead, they're numbered. And whereas the Gospels are sources for the events in the man and to a lesser extent, the Book of Mary, they supply only the bare bones of some of the events in the Book of Joseph, events such as Mary's betrothal to Joseph, the birth of Jesus, the flight into Egypt. Indeed, I make up the details of the recorded events. They have to be fleshed out. So most of the Book of Joseph is imagined. And I had a good time creating Joseph's story outside of the gospel events. I gave him a first wife. He needed a first wife because traditionally he's regarded as a widower, although that's not in the gospels anywhere. I gave him a very spunky first wife named Deborah. I gave him children. I gave him grandkids, gave him other relatives. And poem number 96 picks up his story at the point where his two daughters by his first wife, Judith and Sarah, married two brothers, Joshua and Luke. It describes the wedding, describes the birth of three grandchildren, a girl for one couple, twin boys for the other couple. It is mostly concerned, though, with describing Mary in our gungo, as Jamaica people say, utterly happy at the birth of these grandchildren. Along with Jesus, she's constantly at the family house of Joshua and Luke, which is where sons would take their brides when they got married back to the family house. And Eventually, Joseph protests and says, you know, for one thing, although you only want to help, you don't want to make Ruth, who is the woman in that house, she's a grandma, you don't want to make her feel old and useless. Discover Joseph's other reason for cautioning Mary when you read poem number 96 from the book of Joseph. Thanks for listening. <laughs>